Hi guys, it's Jill and we might be getting a new horse. So Sunny and I are taking the trek an hour back to the Bismarck farm. Well, it's like 40 minutes, but it's fine. She has been leasing it to someone. They kind of want to do this trade off to get the horse in exchange for board. So from my understanding, he is an eight year old off the track thoroughbred named Sire Nato because he has a tornado shaped marking on his forehead. So I'm like, oh, this that sounds promising. Sunny wants me to go with her to get on him and see what he's all about. You know, he's eight years old. Don't know when he came off the track. I'll have to look that up. Look at voiceover Jill coming back in full swing. Um, but okay, I essentially found out that he came off the track as a five-year-old after he won his last race. So voiceover Jill over now. But apparently the last time he was ridden was in May and it's October 8th. <laughs> that will be interesting. I have to pop my hip. Oh, that's good. That's not good, but it's fine. Apparently he's been doing chuck wagon races and lots of, lots of stuff. Everybody is an individual. You guys are allowed to do what you want to do, like what you want to like. However, I have heard many, 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 many horror stories about the chuck wagon races around these parts. I've never been, so I can't speak for exactly what happens. I've just heard it through the grapevine, but there always seems to be some sort of dangerous incident there, but I just stay away from that. So anyway, I'm interested to see what this guy's all about. Hopefully he'll be a horse that we can find the perfect home. So yeah, I'm excited and I hope you guys are too. So keep on watching. We're gonna head to Bismarck. So it is a little chilly in the morning and I popped on my milestone equestrian apparel, spooky season. I'm excited. Your body condition is less than desirable. Come here. Come here. Sunny the horse whisperer. <laughs> Got some airplane ears, kid. What a good boy. First impressions? He wants a little bit afraid. And he's a little bit- And very skinny. Really skinny. So you know where he's going. He's gonna have to come home, <laughs> get some nutrition. No more chuck wagons. And we'll get your ears fixed. Yep. Cause my goodness, we got some problems. Voice over Jill cameo number two of the video so far. Just wanted to pop in and say we originally thought we were going to be able to get on him, but upon seeing him and his body condition, we decided to just go with lunging so that we could get a baseline idea of his soundness and stay off his back because yikes. <laughs> One last voice over here, I promise. I just kind of wanted to go over that last clip. I decided to leave it in the video because I think it's important for you guys to see where he's starting. So we have kind of an honest journey that you guys can follow along with. And also I wanted to discuss this clip. So his buddies were running in the field next to him. He calls to them. 
and then he trips and that just sent him right over threshold. So you'll see me brace my fist against my hip because I'm expecting the line to get taut and it just didn't. And then you'll see here, A, I don't want to pull him over. So I start going with him, but also I was trying to minimize the damage I was doing in his mouth because I don't want to add more stress. And you can see how loose my hand is that I'm trying to stay with him and feed him the line a little bit more so I didn't add more stress via pain. And he was just such a kind guy. Like he didn't have any issues on the lunge line. He didn't scare me. He didn't make me feel like he was being bad or naughty or like he needed to be corrected. He just didn't really know what to do and was stressed. I mean, the last time he was worked with was in May. So, you know, we were just trying to see what he was all about and how he moved. And so, um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt that he's, I really don't think he's being bad. I think he just went over threshold and that's how he reacted. And he actually was very light in my hand. So I, I love it. Oh, I think I might have gotten a buck. <laughs> oh, poor guy. for you. Okay, so Sunny's decided. <laughs> We're coming back for him next week, and we've decided his name will be Danny. Danny boy. I think it's cute. I do too. He definitely is a sweetheart and a Danny. But a diamond in the rough. Yes, we were hoping to be able to get on him, but with his back and his weight, mm -hmm. um, not kind. No. And he probably, when was the last time he had his teeth done? <laughs> yeah. And it was probably track teeth also, so right. well. decided we would just lunge him to see if he's sound and can't leave him here. Alrighty guys, I am back and boy did it warm up outside. Geez, it got hot. Also, I should mention that his name is actually Fire Nado because he's red and his marking looks like a tornado. So Arkansas logic, Fire Nado. He's in less than stellar condition, so we were hoping to be able to get on him, but we talked about it and we were like, let's just lunge him and see if he's sound at all, and uh, we'll skip the riding because it's just not fair to him. So, um, all right, cat and lawnmower. So we are going to get him next week, get some groceries on him, have him... We are going to get him next week. Right now is our plan. We have a horse that's leaving and then we'll have a spot for him. So then we're gonna take him on and we're gonna get him some groceries, get his teeth done ASAP, looked at by a chiropractor and a body worker and get his feet done. So we're gonna hopefully revamp this little guy. But um, from some of the stills I took, I think that he is going to be a really, really, really cool horse. Like I just have this picture of him in my head as this like really big fancy like beefcake thoroughbred that's like one of the warm bloody types you know so I'm really excited because I think he's gonna be really cool if we can get him you know healthy we were told that when he was at the track there was some incidents with some of the grooms or some of the people that worked around him that they really didn't like him and were just mean and awful to him and then when he changed owners and she was more kind to him fed him differently and he ended up winning his last race which I will insert a video of now ready for a start, and they're off. Royal Cajun heading out for the lead with It's a City Day, Fire Nato in the center of the course. Handsome Ransom, Professorial's on the inside, then it's Seaside Sergeant and Indulgences. They make their way to the first turn. Fire Nato, the long shot, is up to grab the lead from Royal Cajun, who's on the inside in second. Professorial's up on rival's heels while saving ground third. It's a city day moving up around him. Far outside indulgences is fifth. Handsome Ransom squeeze back six. Seaside Sergeant trails. Turning on to the backstretch. First quarter 23-53. Fire NATO just in front of Royal Cajun to the inside. Professorial out in the center of the course. Indulgences gains ground. It's a city day between that pair. Close up fifth. Seaside Sergeant is out of the last spot and on the move from the extreme outside as they take closer order. And the trailer is Handsome Ransom, the half 4781. 
Fire Needle committed for home leads the way onto the far turn. Royal Cajun on length back second. Indulgences, Seaside Sergeant gaining quickly from the outside. The tempo's quickening now. It's a city day. Professorial's trapped at the inside. Now back racing six. And Handsome Ransom is three and a half lengths last. It's still Fire Nato with a quarter of a mile left to run. Outside Seaside Sergeant. It's a city day. The far outside. Professorial's angling out for the stretch dive. Down toward the inside. Royal Cajun with indulgences. Final eighth of a mile. And Fire Nato's built up a commanding lead. The long shot Fire Nato by four and looking for more. Professor shaking loose late. He's coming on, followed by It's a City Day. It's going to be Fire Nato and a big price in the finale. Six. Fire Nato at 36 to one. So yeah, so he has some trauma that we are gonna have to work through. So he's gonna be sort of a dual project for me, you know, getting him healthy and going and working with some positive reinforcement work. And ultimately, you know, it'd be nice to flip him into a positive reinforcement home. There is a Facebook group, if you guys didn't know. I believe it's called something to the effect of positive reinforcement horses for your consideration so that there's a little bit more awareness about horses that are positive reinforcement trained. So we'll probably be doing a little bit of balanced training or mixed training. It's really going to depend on him and where he's at and what he wants to do and I'm just interested to get to know him so I think it's going to be really fun. Stay tuned for that journey. We are deciding to call him Danny as I think I said earlier. Um, I've been reading a book and there was a cool name Danicor and I was like I was just talking to Sunny last night that I think we should use that name on a horse so we might make that his like registered name or whatever um because i'm not really all about fire nato um but okay and we'll have him next week so hopefully i will get to bring you guys along on that little progress so be sure to subscribe like turn on the notifications because this channel is super dead do it for zuko are you melting Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure to check out the socials and the podcast, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!